Hey y'all, Achieve Dad here. This is my achievement guide for the Valiant Gargoyle in Elden Ring. Let's get it. You need to have defeated Star Sword Radon and the Mimic Tier. If you want to watch those videos, I will leave a link in the description. Otherwise, we're going to start from the Mimic Tier's set of grace. I will double time the path that it takes to get there. It's going to take you about two or three minutes to get there from the Mimic Tier's set of grace. You're going to run across the bridge and you're going to hop off onto the left side. Like you're going to go fight the Regal Ancestor Spirit. You're going to follow the road um, up to what I call the fourth torch in my Regal Ancestor Spirit video. It's basically the one that is in the little gazebo or coliseum. I don't know what you want to call it. There's an Ancestor Spirit there that doesn't change or anything. There's a torch behind it. If you go behind this area, you're going to find some jellyfish in the woods. That's how you know you're going to the right area. At the very end of that is going to be a little cliff. You can hop down and you're going to come up to a, another side of grace. I don't remember the name of it. You can rest here if you want to. Otherwise, you're going to continue through the little cliffs area, jump into the building. You're going to end up in the Sea for Aqueduct, and then it's just a straight shot through the water. You will come to a set of stairs that's going to lead into the area where you're going to fight the uh, Valiant Gargoyles. That's all it is. It's just a straight path. The Gargoyles themselves, in my case anyway, were pretty simple. I summoned my uh, ashes right away, and it starts with one Gargoyle, and I think it has a spear. It's extremely similar to other Gargoyles in Souls games. It's nothing crazy. It has a couple extra moves that are like a whirlwind attack, but it's really nothing that's too difficult to deal with. Once this first Gargoyle gets down to, I think, 25% health, another Gargoyle is going to spawn. It's going to have like a spinning staff, and it's a little bit harder to deal with two of them at one time, obviously. But if you can take the first one down while the second one is spawning in and coming in range, it'll get much easier. That way, um, each gargoyle does have a second weapon that they can use. Again, this fight was almost, you know, nothing to deal with. Super easy. So I don't really have that much experience with its attacks. So I'm just going to let the rest of this video play out. Let you guys watch the end of the fight. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.